Hello, dear students. This is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 5, statistics and probability. Today, we'll focus on quartiles, deciles, percentiles for ungrouped data. After reviving this lesson, you are expected to compute quartiles, deciles, percentiles for ungrouped data. So let's continue to the lesson. Quartiles. Quartiles are values that divide a set of data into four equal parts. For example, if you have a certain set of data, what quartiles do is it divide this data into four equal parts. So let's divide this into four equal parts. So uh, this becomes, it is, it is quartile one, this is second quartile, and here we have third quartile. So quartiles divides values uh, into four equal parts. And this quartile divides the data into four equal parts. We have three quartiles, quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three. Therefore, there are three quartiles, namely quartile 1, quartile 2, and quartile 3. The case quartile is, it is calculated by the following formula. After arranging the set of data in increasing or decreasing order. So, the formula, the case quartile, is given by this formula. It is k times n plus 1 over 4 item. When the value of n, this 1, when n is it is odd. And the k quartile is given by this formula, kn over 4 plus kn over 4 plus 1 over 2's item if n is even. So, Let's see example for this. Here it says, find quartile 1 and quartile 3 for the following data. We have these numbers, 25, 38, 42, 46, 31, 29, 21, 9, 5. So we are asked to find here Q1 and Q3. To find these values first, you have to arrange this set of data either in increasing or decreasing order. So let's arrange this data in increasing order. The smallest value here is this 5. Next to 5 we have 9. And the smallest 21, 25, 29, 31, 38, 42, 46. So we arrange it this set of data in increasing order. After this, how many data we, we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The number of data is this? 9. We have odd numbers of data. So in this case, we apply the formula, this one. The k quartile is given by kn plus 1 over 4's item. So here, we need to find Q1 and Q3. So Q1, you put 1 in place of K. Q1 is equal to 1 times N is 9. 9 plus 1 over 4 is item. Therefore, you'll have this one. Quartile 1, this equal to 1 times N is this 9 here. 9 plus 1 over 4 is item. It is 10 over 4. 10 divided by 4 is this 2.5. Uh, item. So, the quartile 1 is found at the 2.5 item. Here, when you start counting, the first item is 5, the second one is this 9. 2.5 item is found near to this value. So, uh, the 2.5 item is this 9, it's 9 plus something here, 0 0.5 of the terms between these two, 21 and 
9, so 21 in 9. Therefore, uh, you multiply 0 0.5 by the difference between these two, 21 minus 9. So here it is 21 minus 9 times 0 0.5 plus 9, it gives you 15. Therefore, here, quartile uh, 1 is this found at this point, its value is this, 15. Now, next, let's see quartile 3. So, to find quartile 3, you put 3 in place of k. So, q3 is equal to k is this 3, 3 times n is this 9, 9 plus 1 over 4. So, this result gives you this 7.5. Therefore, quartile 3 is found at 7.5 item. So, here, let's count the 7.5 item. The first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. The seventh item and 0 0.5 item found between these two. Therefore, here, the seventh item is 38. 38 plus 0 0.5 times the difference between the two, the eighth term and the seventh term. So 0 0.5 times it is 42 minus 38. So when you compute this, this becomes this 4 times 0.5, this 2, 2 plus 38 gives you this 40. Therefore, the third quartile is this 40. Now let's continue to the next part, decides. These cells are values that divide a set of data into 10 equal parts. It divides, if we have certain set of data, this decides, divides this part into 10 equal parts. So, when you count this uh, part is divided into 10 equal part. So you will have here decile 1, decile 2, decile 3, decile 4, decile 5, decile 6, decile 7, decile 8, and so the cells divide set of data into 10 equal parts. So as a result, we will have 9 deciles. We will have 9 deciles. So there are 9 deciles, namely it is from D1, D2 up to D9. And the case decile for ungrouped data is calculated by uh, the following formula after arranging set of data in increasing or decreasing order and we apply this formula the case decide is it's given by k times n plus 1 over 10 item when the number of data is it is odd and k n over 10 plus k n over 10 plus 1 over 2's item when and is it is even. When you see in the case of quartile, this value is this 4. For the case of decile, this value becomes 10. Now let's see example for this also. Here it says, find D2 and D7 for the following data. So to find decile, we need to arrange this set in either in increasing or decreasing order. So let's arrange using increasing order. So when you arrange in increasing order, the smaller is 5, 9, and it goes on. When you arrange, you, are, you will find this one, 5, 9, 21, 25, 29, 31, 38, 42, 46, and 15. Now, next, let's count the number of data here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In this case, we have, we have 10 data sets here. So, to find 
the decile, we apply this formula since the number of data is even. So therefore, dk is given by kn over 10 plus kn over 10 plus 1 over 2 the item. So here we are asked to find d2. You put 2 in place of k. So you have this one. d2 is equal to in place of k, 2 times 10 over 10 plus here also this 2 times n is 10, 2 times 10 over 10 plus 1 over 2 the item. When you simplify this, 10 cancels, 2, here is 3, 3 plus 5, 5 over 2 it is 2.5. Here also it is, uh, D2 is this uh, 2.5 item. Therefore, uh, count uh, the 2.5 item here. The first item is 5, the second one is 9. The 2.5 item is found between 9 and 21. By how much percent? By 0 0.5 amount. So, uh, 2.5 item is, is the second item plus 0 0.5 of the difference between the third and the second item. So it is 21 minus 9. It gives you, this result gives you this 15. To find D7, put 7 in place of K. So you have D7 is equal to 7 times 10 divided by 10 plus, here, 7 times 10 over 10 plus 1 over 2. So, this cancels 7 plus 8, it is 15 over 2, it is 7.5, the 7.5 item. So, let's count, let's find this item here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The seventh item is this one. The 7.5 item is found between these two. Therefore, the answer will be the seventh item 38 plus 0 0.5 of 0 0.5 of the difference between the eighth item and the seventh item. So it is 42 minus 38. So here, 42 minus 38 is 4 times 0 0.5. It is 2. 2 plus 38 gives you. 14. Now let's proceed to percentiles. Percentiles are values that divide set of data into 100 equal parts. It divides 100 equal parts. As a result, we will have 99 percentiles. So there are 99 percentiles, namely from P1 up to P99. So, the case percentile for ungrouped data is calculated by the following formula after arranging the set of data either in increasing or decreasing order. The formula it is just similar to uh, quartiles and deciles. The difference is only on the denominator part. In the case of percentile, this part will be 100. Therefore, for odd number of data, the case percentile is given by k times n plus 1 over 100 item. And for even number of the data, we have this formula kn over 100 plus kn over 100 plus 1 over 2's item when the number of data set is even. Here, let's see uh, some concepts. Percentiles are not the same as percentage. Percentiles and percentage are not the same. For example, if a student gets 85 correct answers out of 100, his average score maybe it's 85% or 85 out of 100. 100. On the other hand, if a score 85 percent or 85 corresponds with 96 percentile, then what does this 96 percentile means? This 96 percentile indicates this is the student's result in relation to other strength result. 
So here, the score of the student is this 85. And this indicates here it is 96 percentile. This means that the score of this student, 4% of the students score above this student's result. That means 4% of the students taking the examination scores greater than 85. Or, in other words, this is the score 85, the student who scored 85 is scored or it has a greater score than 96% of students. His score is greater or 96% of the students scored below 85. This is what the percentile means. 96 percentile means if it is 85, 96 percentile indicates 85, the score 85. So 4% of the students scored above 85 and 96% of the students score below 85. This is uh, the meaning of percentile. So percentile and percentage are not the same. Percentile indicates uh, the student score in relation to other students' result. This is it. Now let's see example uh, how to calculate percentiles. Here it says find percentile 42 and percentile 75 for the following data. Here we have 25, 38, 42, 46, 50, 31, 29, 21, 95. So to find the percentiles, we need first to arrange this data in ascending or descending order. Let's arrange in increasing order. So when you arrange in increasing order, you have the smaller is 5, 5, 9, 21, 25, 29, 31, 38, 42, 46. So, how many data set do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The number of data here it is 9 is odd. So, we apply this formula. PK, the case percentile, is given by K times n plus 1 over hundreds item if the number of data set is odd. Therefore, here we are asked to find the 42 percentile first. So put 42 in place of K, you will have P42 is equal to it is 42 times 9 plus 1, N is 9 here, over 100. When you 42 times 10 gives you 420 divided by 10, this is 4.2. So uh, the 42 percentile is found at 4.2 item. So let's find 4.2 item here. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. The fourth item is here. The 4.2 item is found. It is between 25 and 29 by 0 0.2 amount. So uh, the fourth item it is 25 plus 0 0.2 of the difference between the two. So 0 0.2 times 29 minus 25. So this gives you this 4. 4 times 0 0.2, it gives you 0 0.8 plus 5, 25.8. The 75 percentile, P75, put 75 in place of K, you will have 75 times 9 plus 1 over 100. So this will be this 75 times 10, 750 over 100, it is 7.5 item. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The, the seventh item is T38. So the 7.5 item is it is found between 38 and 42. Therefore, this gives you it is 38 plus it is 0 0.5 of the difference between the two. 0 0.5 times 42 minus 38. So this it is 4. 4 times 0.5 it is 2. 2 plus 30 is 40. So this is it. Uh, to summarize, the case quartile 
is given by this formula kn plus 1 over 4 item if n is odd and kn over 4 plus kn over 4 plus 1 over 2's item if it is n is even. In the other case, in the, in the case of decile, simply change this 4 by 10. You will have this one. And in the case of percentile, simply change 4 by 100 and you will have this formula. So this is all about today's lesson. Uh, please do exercise 5.8 on page 174. This is all about today's lesson. Goodbye.